Hello YouTube! I've seen all these accent tags and I realized that Southeast Louisiana, especially the New Orleans area, is very underrepresented. Nobody has done our type of accent yet that's called a Yad accent. Now the reason why they call it a Yad accent is because we don't ask how are you doing or you know what's going on. We ask, hey where you at? And that is an across the board meaning for where are you at in life? So we say things a little bit differently down here, and that is one thing that irks us the most, is when Hollywood films something down in uh, New Orleans, and then they say, you know, they give us these country drawls and everything, make us talk like we from like, South Carolina or Georgia or something like that. We don't talk like that, maybe in other parts of Louisiana, but not New Orleans. Our accent is very distinct. So I'll get on with the words. Um, first on the list is ant. Now, yes, ant is the same as ant. So it is possible for your ant to have an ant form. Roof. This one is weird. It depends upon how it's being used. If it's marking the, uh, like, uh, numbered highway, I say root, but every other time I say route. Like, well, if you're gonna go that route, then, or... Um, the detour is going to reroute you to that bridge over there. Wash. Oil. Theater. That one's funny because in our accent, we don't put R's on the back of words that have R's. So, it would be theater. Iron. When I was little, I used to say iron. But as I got older... I started listening to other people's accents, and I actually figured out, oh, there's an R in there. So, I yearn for iron, that Paris metal. Salmon. Caramel. There's three syllables in there. Caramel. Fire. Water. Down here, you park your car by the water and walk to the park. Sure. Data. Ruin. Crayon. New Orleans. It's not New Orleans. It's not New Orleans. Uh, it's New Orleans. Take the EW, stick it on in front of the OR, and then you got New Orleans. Pecan. Both. Again. When I read this one, I say probably. But when I use it in a sentence, it comes out probably. So when I go to the store, I'm probably going to buy some chips. Spit an image. Avenue. Alabama. Lawyer. Coupon. Mayonnaise. Syrup. Pajamas. Caught. Naturally. Aluminum. And envelope. Not envelope. Now for some questions and what we call things. What is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? We call it rolling. Hey, we're going to go roll somebody's car. We're going to go roll houses. What is the bug that when you touch it, it curls into a ball? Okay, it hasn't been till I started watching these accent tags that I heard people call them roly-poly bugs. I have never heard of it that way. We always call them milk bugs or doodle bugs. Sometimes peel bugs, but then I found out peel bugs is something slightly different. So... Yeah, doodle bugs or milk bugs. What is the bubbly carbonated drink called? Soft drink or Coke? No matter what it is. I could be going to get some Cokes. What do you want? And people say, oh, I want some Sprite. Oh, I'm going to get some Cokes. What do you want? I want a root beer. So generally it's Coke, but other than that, it's soft drink. What do you call gym shoes? Tennis shoes. It doesn't matter if you're playing basketball, running, steeplechase, it's still tennis shoes. Tennis court or not. What do you say to address a group of people? Y'all. If anybody's familiar with foreign languages, y'all is informal collective. So, like in Spanish, it would be similar to uh, vosotros. What do you call the kind of spider or spider-like creature that has an oval-shaped body and extremely long legs? It's a daddy long legs. But we also call crane flies, which is something different, daddy long legs too. So pretty much any bug that has long spindly legs is a daddy long legs. What do you call your grandparents? 
on my dad's side, call him what teen, because her name was Augustine, and so we called the teeny for short, so it was more teen. On my mom and dad's side, sometimes it was grandma and grandpa, sometimes it was papa and Mawi, which we found out later Mawi means little mama, and she was short. What do you call the wheel contraption which you carry groceries at the supermarket? A grocery cart. Sometimes grocery basket, but most of the time grocery cart. What do you call it when rain falls while the sun is shining? Devil's beating his wife. I've never heard it as a sun shower. And when I was little, there was a story that when um, the devil used to come home and his wife used to always have soup ready for him, well, she always used to make it too salty. And he didn't like that, so he told her, next time you make the soup too salty, I'm going to beat you. So she made soup again. He came home, and it was too salty, so he took the whole cauldron of soup, dumped it on her head, and then beat her with the spoon. And when it rains, when the sun's shining, that's the pot of soup and the devil's wife's tears from her crying coming down on us. And why the devil would be up there, I don't know. It's just, as a kid, you just go with it. And what is the thing you change the TV channels with? My finger. Because every time I go to find remote control, it's not there, or the batteries are dead, so I wind up having to change it with my hand anyway. So, I think they're talking about remote control, though. But that's what I call it. Not a clicker. It's a remote control. Okay, well, hope you all enjoyed finding out what a real New Orleanian accent sounds like. Real yet. And I'd like to hear other people's accents. Alright, bye.